Well, you heard the PA announcer here at the Utility Arena introduce Gideon and Sukumulcho, hugely popular wherever they go, and they'll know their opponents today pretty well because they're fellow countrymen. Let's wait for the uh, PA announcement. Let's have a look at the draw then, how that's panned out in the men's doubles. We've got Arsene and Setiwan in the other half, so potentially we're going to have the world number one pair against the world number two pair tomorrow in the final, but Fikri and Milana may have something to say about that. All set for this men's doubles semi-final. Marcus Finaldi Gideon, Kevin Sanjaya, Sukumoljo of Indonesia. <laughs> Against their countryman Mohamed Johibul Fikri and Badas Molana. See that only previous meeting, maybe somewhat surprisingly, was won by Fikri and Molana. Denmark Open, that was in the uh, round of 16. Okay, as you're playing last in white, October. white will be your side, red and black will be yours. Red and black, you may choose. What do you make of this then? Uh, more, no, all receive. Indonesian semi final men's doubles. We'll serve and I think we're in for a treat. Uh, when I actually saw the match they played at the Denmark Open, and uh, it ended up, I think, 23 21 in the third and final game for the youngsters. So, you know, anything is possible. It was a fantastic match to watch in uh, Denmark Uns uh, in uh, October 21. And I would say that uh, both the two pairs have actually been struggling a bit on the way. It's been very close and tight scores for both the pairs. Well, there's Marcus Gideon. They are ranked number one in the world. Beaten in the final of the World Tour Finals last year. And they've won this title on two occasions, 2017 and 2018. They lost the final a couple of years ago to Endo and Watanabe as well. well. Just the one trophy in uh, 2021, that was the Indonesian Open. They were beaten in the final of the Indonesia Masters. It was the junior partner, he's uh, five years Indian's uh, junior, Kevin Sukumulja. their path through hasn't been uh, without a little uh, instability. Koga and Saito took him to three games in a match that lasted an hour and eight minutes in the second round. And even in that quarterfinal we did yesterday morning, it wasn't quite as plain sailing as that, that scoreline might Absolutely suggest. Absolutely not. So it was a tight match and it could have gone either way. And their opponents, Fikri and Mulana, wouldn't take too much notice of that 28 ranking. It's going to be uh, <laughs> heading in one direction only, I suspect. Yes, you're so right. Indonesia's having so many good men's doubles. But it was a fantastic win yesterday against the world champions, Hoki and Kobayashi, where they won 22-20 in the final game. That Ready was an awesome play? display. 2019 uh, Finnish Open champions. They run us up at the Belgian Open last year. They won a, a Super 100 in Hyderabad a few years ago, but really starting to come of age now. And there's that match that Morton just mentioned, that quarterfinal taking out the world champions and number three seeds in a, an hour of uh, what well, was phenomenal entertainment. It was on the other court to us. We were kind of sneaking glances across and it, it looked an absolute thriller. Yeah, and they also beat in the second round Ong Yusin Tui of Malaysia, and they won a bronze at the uh, World Championship in Spain. So they've beaten uh, uh, the number three and the number one from the uh, World Championship in Spain. Free Cox of the Netherlands is the man in the umpire's chair for this one. And David Evans from England, he's the service judge. 
And interesting also is that uh, this pair, the young pair from Indonesia, is only ranked fifth Ladies and gentlemen, on the world ranking when it comes to Indonesian pairs. And on my left, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamulyo, Indonesia. Marcus Fernaldo Gideon to serve to Mohamed Shoi Bulfikri. Level play. Play. Good awareness. One, Found the gap on the first shot. Hey. That was over. One oh. Terrific shot. That's not bad, is it? That was an excellent shot. I like how Fikri just rushed to, towards the net and closing that one down. Yeah, clearly, Fikri and Milana, no respecters of reputation. Of course, they'll have huge admiration for their opponents, but it wouldn't be an inferiority complex, especially as they've beaten them in the one previous meeting they've had. Good anticipation, second more Jake. Two, three. Defiance while it lasted from Fikri and Milana. Three, four. Yeah, good defensive work from Milana. But when Kevin Sukamojo is getting into these shots at the net, it's tricky to get out of. No! That was over. Five, three. Move much quicker to get there, Sir Camaldo, but someone of his ability at the net can't make it. You know, it must Five, have been a good shot. Seven. I thought exactly the same because that's normally uh, a shot that uh, Sukumoya would win. Yeah. So far, I think. Uh, Fikri and Maldana, it's been Eight, really, five. really good to close down the, the mid-court area. Try to look at this one here. Look how Fikri is moving out, closing down that mid-court area and making a winner. And they've been really good over. doing that in, in this opening Six, of the first game. First one today, have to say. The low 1.15 meters. Yeah, 
he was forted. Yeah, he was forted yesterday as well. I remember. Normally, it's actually Gideon that's forted. Well, he just would not be denied for having fifth three. Well, equally impressive at the net, I would say. The queue. Well, that first half of the opening game went by in the blink of an eye. It felt like it was about three or four minutes. Let's see, check how long. Five minutes, but some tremendous badminton within it, and that's a terrific start for those two. It is. They, they have been the controlling part in the opening game so far. They really play a very good attacking play and they're forcing the world number ones into defence quite a lot of the time. And obviously that's not something they like. Gideon and Sukumoyo, they like seconds. to be in control. Sukamolio is getting into it at the net. Seems to be a winner. But they were trying very hard to keep Gideon at the back. Chasing Gideon from side to side on the back line, making him work. Forced errors than we 13, come to expect seven. from the world number one pair. Fikri. Part sport, part art, part entertainment. 14, what a rally. Having sort of the surplus to play the last shot, this one here. Just seeing where Gideon is standing, he's got no chance to get it. I understand the smile. Good surprise here from Gideon. Love that cross court smash. <laughs> well, he can't really lose because he's got that Indonesia flag. <laughs> but definitely, an Indonesian pair is going to win this match. Either way. Oh. Over. 15 8. Has played outstandingly. 
as soon as he's moving forward, trying to have a look at this one. See there? He's playing that defensive counter-attacking shot, moving forward, getting the next one and adding on the pressure. Really been playing well. Foot it. Good play by Sukumoyo. And what seems to be quite difficult for Gideon and Sukumoyo in this match is that the opponents are serving really well, so they can't really attack on that return of serve as they would like to do, which means they become a little bit more passive than normal. The spring in the step there of Fikri. He's only five foot nine, but he does get some height on those jump smashes. Once again, really good serve this time from Maulana. Sukumoyo and uh, Maulana. Most of Sukumoyo's shots 12, went uh, towards Maulana. Very, very good work here by Gideon. the impossible starting to happening that would be some comeback wouldn't it oh. on that like a shot Marcus Gideon 14 17 oh, just three points in it between the two pairs oh. anything that comes at that height the net will be summonly dealt with. Fifteen, seventeen. Handbacks definitely on now. So a game that looked like it was going to be uh, relatively one-sided. It's a bit of a nail-biter. Especially now. 17 oh. So quick. 
able to spot the gap. He couldn't have placed that any better. Well, that's a remarkable comeback. That's nine points in a row. It was 17-9 down. Thank you. Back on court. I could pardon him, 17-10. 18-17. Nevertheless, what a comeback. Play. Well, they never know 19, when they're beaten 17. in the game. And this will be an absolute body blow psychologically for those two if they do lose this opening game, which looks likely now. How much did they I'm lose back? So the rot stopped after nine straight points 18, for their opponents. 19. That's a big miss. That's a big Nineteen. miss from uh, Gideon. Once again, Free Free closing down the mid-court area so well. Look at how he's moving to his forehand side. 20, game point. 19. Got their mojo back, and they've got a game point here. I think it would be a psychological hammer blow if they lost the Thank game. You. To win it now, in these uh, circumstances, would be just as big the other way. The second chance. 20. Fantastic game that was. And despite a wonderful Question attempt at a comeback from Gideon and Sukunujo, it's Fikri and Milana who take it. 22-20. And what always looked a fascinating match has now become even more intriguing. Yeah, it was an amazing comeback from uh, Gideon and Sukumojo. Nine points in a row from 10 to 19.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Second game, Laval, play. Kevin Sukamoyo really closing the net down very well. Did not come over. Had it, he would have been there. Oh, good play by Gideon. Really good play. This time him closing down that mid-court area. Got across so quickly. There he goes. Yeah, good play. Comes over. One, two. Cross court to surprise Molana. <laughs> I don't think he thought it was coming back, did he, Fikri? But it did. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a Kevin Sukamulian move he was trying to do. The last shot, seen Kevin try so many times. This one there. Similar style, everything normally same, but uh, Fikri missed this one. Better start for oh. the world number that ones in the second game. Two, three. That is so interesting. Every time that uh, Gideon Sukamoyo is really trying to play that mid-court area, trying to see what happens. Fikri is there, he's closing it down, he's playing the winner. Of course, it helps quite a lot when one another know the other one's game so well. Challenge. 
Absolutely astonishing point. Yeah, what an entertainment. Is it the line? It's in, it's in, it's in. Correction, and I think that's fitting as a, as a conclusion of that rally that it was actually a winner rather than. Service over. Let's just shot the film wide of the line. Four. What an amazing piece of play that was. Looked like the almost three rallies in one. Play. Oh, that's a nice flick, sir. Six, four. Yeah, completely stranded. Have a little trick shot here from Fikri. Look at this. Uh, landed in. Six, I think it was four. a good choice for Sukamulya to leave that one. It was looking to go out. Play. I don't take any prisoners there. Straight down the middle. Seven, six. Great defensive work. This one here from Gideon was really well taken. Fight between Sukamojo and uh, Fikri at the front of the court. They're having lots and lots of battles, this one, and this time Fikri is winning it. right on that you are not allowed to move before the shot is struck and I definitely think he did that yeah he definitely did so that's that's really a good call excellent call over. from Eight the umpire it's a good call but it's it's just a, a gift of a point from uh, victory and Alana's point of view It is as Gideon and Sukimuljo try to get level in this men's double semi final. Twenty 
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Eleven, eight, flight. Twelve, eight. So it looks like uh, Marlan and Fikri is losing a little bit of self-confidence here. Not a bad 13, shot from Kevin Sukamoyo. Really well played. Play that shot behind his body. Still kept it in nicely in him. Say, I will be surprised if we're not treated to a third game here. Looks like a very decisive lead for Gideon and Sukumoyo. That was over. 15, 9. Good shot. Really good shot from Gideon down That's the line. Over. That backhand drive down the line is such a difficult shot to play. Did it to perfection. This is the one. Just the execution, that shot was a giveaway. Um, hold on that. Full receiver, foot. And again. 18, 10. Let's have a look. Not as clear cut as the first one. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Show is over. 11, 19. There's no doubt that the normal pair number three from uh, Indonesia, Alfian and Adianto, will become under a lot of pressure from uh, this young pair. Alfian Adianto is at the moment at number nine on the world ranking. And on top of that, of course, Indonesia is having number one and two, Gideon Sukumoyo, Setiawan and Hassan. 20 game point. 30. So seven game points here to level the match for the top seeds. Just needed one of them. 
21-13, and maybe the natural order of things has been restored a little here. We are going to have a decider. That's certainly what the crowd wanted. Final game, level play. So we are ready to begin the third and final game in this really very entertaining men's doubles. Yeah, and you'd have to think over. that having One come from a down. game down, Gideon and uh, Sukumoto would have, have the momentum, but uh, we've seen already that Fikri and Manana are more than capable of stretching the uh, world number one pair. Yeah, is it? I think it's, it's all about getting a good start here at the third game. Who will get a good start? Can any one of the two pairs make that gap? I think that can be very decisive. Yeah, and in fact, the, the one previous meeting that Fikri and Molana won, they actually lost the uh, opening game in that match. Still went on to win. That was over. One, two. down the line three two he's so good at these overhead shots on the head on the backhand side one more there that's a clever play by Malana that's wide and that's where the sort of left to right drift is coming Four, into play. I know two. we haven't really talked about it, you, you and I, Trevor, but there is actually a drift coming from left towards the right, and uh, that one was drifting well wide. Trying to look here, it's well wide. Play. Well, once again, victory wins the battle at the net Five with Gideon.
Seven, two. And now it's going to be interesting. This is a five-point gap. Can they hang on to it? I would say, can they uh, take the next two? Nine, two up. It's going to be very, very difficult for Gideon and Sukumoya to come back from that. Amazing how often that Three, shot works. Seven. <laughs> yeah. After you, yours, mine, sorry. Yes. <laughs> but instead of 9-2, as I just talked about, it's 4-7, and it's almost back to square one. Wide. Got to watch out for that drift. Eight, four. Off at Molana. Excellent Six. response to Eight. that flick Six. serve straight down the middle. But look at that backhand. Not killed, but block shot to the midcourt area. Awesome play by Fikri. Remember, they won nine straight points in the first game, albeit they didn't quite see it out and win the game, but it just shows you that when Gideon and Sukumunio are on a roll, Seven they are capable of reeling off play. successive points. Far from out of this at 10-7 now. Again, we're treated to here. Fikri tested at the net. This time he's missing it. Just get the impression Nine, that they are seizing ten. the initiative right here. The world number one pair. Yeah, some normality is restored. If you can talk about that. But what a match. Excellent men's doubles. Oh. 
Surprising miss, but the lead is only two at the mid-game interval. And it's going to be a fascinating shootout coming up in a moment. Fantastic rally, the reactions of these guys, off the scale. Yes, Gideon all over the place. This one here, look at that, what a save. Thank you. And another one there, out of balance completely. I mean, that shuttle was almost behind him. And then, <laughs> perfect shot. Just... Clipping the top of the tape, rolling over. Nothing Gideon can do about that. Well, I... Play. Time's over. Trying Ten, to look 12. at how close Gid uh, sorry, Sukamoyu is standing to Gideon. On that no last flash. shot, Thank he's you. way up behind him, making sure that he's closing down the mid-court area. Excellent play from Met Kevin Sukamoyo. Almost like both pairs taking in turns to win a little cluster of points at the moment. It's Fikri and Milana who look the stronger. You never ever write those two men off. Play. succeed in passing Fikri at the net on that return of serve and that was setting up good opportunity for the pair in red t-shirts Trevor, is this decisive? Well, we thought 
it was all over in the first game, albeit that victory and Milana fell over the line in the end. So you certainly wouldn't be calling them yet. what they think of it really have been treated to some fantastic play today yeah. winning singles first of all with Van Se Young and Tai Zhe Ying and now this three-game classic Bangers which Fikri and Molana well it's theirs to lose basically from here yeah very strong play by Molana from the back of the court three or four very very strong smashes from the big man Out of the last seven points. Oh. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if they lose well, this 17. match, this shot will be remembered. This is one of the biggest misses. We've seen probably in all <laughs> tournament. I think the reaction of, of his partner, oh, yeah. Molina, was priceless. Just couldn't believe it. It's turned away in utter disbelief. Yeah. Well, that'll make him feel a bit better. That's and they're okay. three points away. 18 12. Very strong arm, extremely strong arm from Maulana. Going cross court, Gideon caught on away. Wait. Sukumulio are getting good run of points. It's on the serve of Sukumulio. <laughs> Excuse me, just had to concentrate there because that took an age to come down. Yeah, look at how Gideon was actually all, almost turning his back to that shot. Look at that, he's walking away. Yeah, you deal with that. <laughs> yes, that's yours. That was over. Well, every error magnified now because... Victory and Milana are so close. <laughs> Look at the body. <laughs> the winning <laughs> line. <laughs> yes. Look at Mulio. How could you miss that one? Yeah, well left. Good awareness from Sukamolio, knowing that the drift from left to right is taking that one. Not sure that this challenge is going to have. Uh, much success. Might just be to give them a bit of a respite. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 
15, 19. Play. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What a save by Sukamolio. That one there. He just knew they were going to win the point after that. <laughs> just knew. It couldn't go wrong, could it? Just unbelievable. I mean, that... <laughs> That's the shot from a different world. Just instinct, wasn't it? I ask him now, he might not know how he did it. Just pure instinct 16, and talent 19, and practice. Play. And everything that goes into making one of the best doubles players on the planet. 16-19, though. Not out of the woods yet, by any means. That's nicely done. And they're knocking on the door of tomorrow's final four match points for Fikri and Milana. Match point. Taking 16. the pace off, the last one is just a genius thought from Milana, because not going into the fight on the flat exchange with Sukamolio, rather placing it to the mid-court area. Good awareness. Tactically, very astute. Twenty sixteen. Play. One sixteen, and the top seeds and world number one pair are out. Beaten in three games by their fellow countrymen in a fantastic match. And listen to what the crowd think of it. <laughs> I think they're pretty pleased with themselves, those two. Save some emotion for the final tomorrow. One of the best hours badminton entertainment you'll ever see. And in the end, that miss didn't matter. No, exactly. Exactly. But again, look at that. The around ahead from Figri is just doing the trick. Covering that mid-court area so well. That's what it means. So they win 22-20, 13-21, 21-16 in nigh on an hour on court. We're back shortly with the women's doubles first semi-final.
Well, a warm welcome back to the Utilita Arena, where we've just seen an absolute <laughs> classic men's double semi-final. Fikri and Manana coming through just against Gideon and Sukamulio. And now we move our attention to the women's doubles. And I'm not sure how many, how many people thought this would be a semi-final.